Hey guys, it's me and the last fight we did stuff, in this fight we're gonna be doing more stuff, that's why I say a lot. The last fight we fought, uh, Imakumi, and I can't remember who that guy was. Again, we're fighting more scientists. I forgot to take out the revives! Two tanglers. What is with my deck and tanglers? So I play second, that's okay. Oh goodness, he's gonna hit, of course. Oh, thank goodness. Now, hopefully, if I can actually beat him. I don't care, I wanna get this. I wanna see if I can take on the opportunity of beating him before he plays another Pokemon. He's paralyzed, too. Oh, oh no. Stick on a dang. Paralyze! Yeah! At least I can get the poison powder on him and it'll be done by... Okay. Next two turns, no Pokemon, I'm safe. He plays the Weedle. Okay. And then he's gonna use whatever on me. Or energy removal. I'll be safe for that and then I can at least keep, keep the tank alive, possibly maybe. They are taking way too long for the next female. <laughs> oh no, I'm a poison! What am I gonna do? Actually, you know what? Oh, full wheel. Oh no! You got to knock cards in hand. <laughs> Places no Pokemon this turn, I, I win. No Pokemon. No Pokemon. You play the Nekans. Then you evolve. Then you play some energy. Then you use poison powder. Then I got really annoyed. No! So if he didn't have either of those this turn, I would have won. See how this game works? Yeah. yeah go back to poison whip. Just go safe with the poison whip. Next turn. Oh, the poison power is gonna hit. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, now hopefully if I can use that stun spell. If I can get that stun spell, then I'm safe. Stun spell. Dang it! Oh, he's gonna switch out now. Great. Just great. I see his tactics. At least he doesn't have anything on him. Where are my revives? I thought this was gonna be a quick match and then you decided to play the card with the things on it. Again, without the paralyze. At least he can't switch out, hopefully, maybe not. Some people- oh wait, yeah, of course. Grass energy- Metapod? Really? Where are my grass energies? And why isn't he going back to the Kakuna to kill me? Oh, the Caterpie, we'll put on the Caterpie and then bring out the Metapod next time. I should've used the other one again! Jeez! Actually, no, I shouldn't have. Because he's gonna keep alive on this one. It's not gonna do anything either. Anyways. Yeah, I should have used it. I am a box idiot. Okay, 
Okay, so I got the myth up there. Fine. Totally fine, because I can face on that cocoon with this med pod. It will be attack of the hardens! Yeah, the fight will be a bit hard. Spit portion! No, that picture of Ekans actually looks really cool. I know Ekans looks a lot less sinister. This seconds, it puts poison and then it also wraps. Wrap is a lot. A lot annoying. Uh. He gets, he gets the first attack on me since I've stiffened. Oh wait! Duh, I'm an idiot box. Or at least I'm not paying attention to my prizes. Receive the boost pack! Uh, well, at least I'm getting grass energy. Singular. Uh, Pidgeotto. This is nice. Whirlwind. So you can choose one of your bench Pokemon one of their bench Pokemon and switch them and 20 damage as well. And then Mirror Move, Pidgeotto was attacked last turn, you do the same amount of damage. And Pidgeotto has 60 HP, so... Ah, oh, finally, a Butterfree. Um, no Retreat cost, which is nice. The Whirlwind, the exact same one, and 70 HP, by the way. And Mega Drain, remove number of damage counters, equal to half the damage done. Which is very good. Uh, Weeping Bell, that's also cool. Uh, points of powder, flip point of heads and stuff, and then raise the boost general with 30 damage, but you know. My research harder! Keep a diary! Hey, you! Hold on! Oop. I need to get rid of that. But. Actually, I, I don't know, I feel like... Do I feel like doing it? Oh, okay, I'll take out the two quarters. Which may be a bit detrimental. Actually, no. Keep the two quarters. And I might take out a couple of these. Uh, don't need as many energy removals. Pokeball. Problem is I've used yeah, problem is I use all of these. Uh, I'll take out one of the metapods and then I'll do two weedles on the cocoon, because the weedles they do a poison sting, which is nice. And then this, these guys do poison power, which actually is a lot nicer. Still don't have an Ekans, I don't know why. Or Nitto King, I don't know why. Well I I know Nitto King, I don't know why not Ekans. So I took out the potions, I'm sorry. Catchphrase is lost. Hey you! They're a bunch of losers! No, they're okay! This guy is a bit of a fanboy for a scientist, don't you think? Wow, great hand! Great, I'm stuck with a Bulbasaur and I've got no grass energies to top it off. Well, there's one, okay, that's good, so I'll put that on and I'll use the energy so to get the next one. I'll use the energy thingy next turn. Double Okay, two double colors, really. Really? Because I haven't had enough of them, apparently. 
So, yeah, he's gonna be like, oh, dang it, he got me straight away. Yeah. He's a southern Yeah. I haven't really been playing Nidalino that much. He hasn't been popping up. Two, two Venusaurs, okay. So I've got both my Venusaurs out here. Now he's gonna be using attack. I'll just be using Leech. See. You know, Leech Seed does a surprising amount of damage. Considering it's, you know, Leech Seed. So I got the Weedle. This the Weedle. The Weedle needs two grass. So Dang it, you Steve, I hate you. Steve, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you, Steve. Why am I hating on Steve? Uh, oh, thankfully, I'm in the arena, so double colorless. Oh gosh, I'm gonna hope for that grass energy. <sighs> well, this seems perfect because I remember using them. When I originally played this game, I always used the arena to. I was using the arena to combat against this dude. Grass defender. It's not gonna help. Oh, keep the defender. So at least he can't kill me straight away. But I can't attack, which is great. Oh, thank goodness. I go into the arena because I feel like it, although he's gonna kill me next turn if I manage not to hit any of these. One, okay, I'm safe. I got both of them, that's good. Oh wait, he's got no other Pokemon! That means super long part! Because I feel like defeating the next dude as well. Oh, and by the way, yeah, he gives you booster. Mr. Mime! Invisible wall, whenever your attack does 30 or more damage, prevent the damage! How good is that? I know Mr. Well, then again, Mr. Mime has like no HP. And he's a basic as well, he does evolve, so. Yeah, that's, that may seem sucky, but then also, meditate, uh, 10 damage plus 10 more, so that's actually a pretty nice one. Porygon is weirdo, um, 30 HP, but he's resistant to the psychic, and then also, if the defending Pokemon has a weakness, you may change it to a type of your choice other than colorless, and then. To change his resistance to a type of your choice. So you can change his weakness and resistance, which is kind of odd. And he doesn't evolve, or at least not in this game. And, oh, there's the yeah, Ekans. Okay. Don't know what happened to the energy, but we've got the muck, we've got the tentacruel, that's cool. No retreat pass, which is awesome, and supersonic, and then jellyfish thing. Yeah, I don't know, he's a bit of a weak Pokemon, but you know, low energy costs. Rick's in the middle of an experiment, so don't bother him too much by battling him. I am Rick Shines Rose. He's got a cool background, apparently. The circles attached with lines. Butterfree. Again with the bulbs, or at least I've got the energies to back it up, but jeez. I don't know, this may end badly. I mean, I know. Oh, great, yeah. He's a tech. Oh, Mewtwo! This isn't the one that I just got. Um, oh, by the way. This is a different one. Um, yeah, three Mewtwo cards, yeah. Uh, but anyway, you know, Psychic, so 10 plus 10 more free energy card attached to defending Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> and then Barry, discard one, and then during the next one, prevent everything. Yeah, I, I may be stuffed straight away. Oh, thank you. How convenient! But he's gonna do 30 damage <laughs> next time I attack him. Unless if I just keep getting grass edge. Yep. Construction. Two Nidorinos already. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That didn't work well. That didn't went well. Jeez, I, I can't think. 
Yeah, that's the problem. You always get the Pokemon you really don't want. Uh, save the outcome. No, that was completely luck-based. <laughs> you just managed to get a card that could attack me very powerfully straight away. I should say strongly. Powerfully is a really good word. Um, oh my god. I'll go with the... Uh, I'm not going out with any of these people. Jeez. So we've got the Butterfree. In the hand. And again with the Mewtwo! At least I got someone who will always have one energy. And yeah! Good on you, Nidoran! Yeah, got the guy from Mars Part. Was very impressed. And yeah, he knows it's hopeless, so he's just gonna pull him in the Um, okay, I'm a Cypher. Yeah, I'll build up a Cypher. Dang it! Oh, come on. Oh, that would have been great if I could have that to him. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I definitely need another turn to... I definitely need another turn to get my Scyther ready. Oh. Here we go! Well, we're one down. Here we go, Bob's for three. Yeah! Four Mewtwo's. No, that's three. So of course he's going to use a move that will kill me next turn. Is he? Hoping? <laughs> it's like, well, I'm not hoping he does. Oh, we can't use that, and then he's going to wait for side mode, so... Yeah. Uh, who, who needs water energy? None of these guys. None of these guys. Oh, Scyther, I meant. Everyone else needs grass energies, and unfortunately, even upgrading or even upping the amount of grass energies I have in my deck, it doesn't seem to be working. Why is he? Why is he doing it? Why is he doing anything? Like I understand you don't have any in your, in your bench, but why aren't you placing them on your Mewtwo, which has a very good chance of defeating me? Well, I, I understand if you didn't draw, draw any. Oh, I'm out of bench space. Science Club. Uses probability in a very good way. Wow, Nidoran female is completely devastating. That is that grass energy. Seriously, this Nidoran female took out two Mewtwo's. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh gosh, that sounds really weird. The level 13 Nidoran female took out two Mewtwo's. Bench. No, I don't. I have another Nidoran female. Um, I'm gonna put the grass on. I'd like to put the grass on the um, Nidoran male, because then I can evolve, but I unfortunately don't have the space, so I'm gonna put it on Weedle. We'll get Weedle a chance to shine. Holy snap! These coin flips, I have literally gotten 10 out of 12. Wow. Wow, 10 out of 12. I'm saving that double colors for the Nidorino. Thank you very much. Holy snap. 13 out of 15! Wow! Oh my gosh. Wow. Just wow. Don't play that game, but I am amazed. He hasn't even attempted. He hasn't even laid a finger on me. Not even one finger. And yeah, we'll get that tank already. I should have waited for him to get rid of that. Oh, he has left one finger, I'm sorry. Okay, so now it's evening. 14 out of 18. Jeez, 13 out of 15 coin flips. That is amazing. Um, we're gonna put that on. Oh my god, destroy it. Um, I actually don't feel very, very comfortable. Okay, yeah, now it's even. 15 out of 21. <sighs> yeah, 
especially because he's he thinks he's a chance. Two Nidorinos, two Nidoran males, and I don't have the ability to place either of them on my page. 17 out of 24. Wow. <gasps> Impossible prof Oh, you jerk! Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, I had it there. Oh my gosh. That's that's why Impossible Professor Oak is a very mean guy. Oh, was that? Oh, hold on. File. Oh, into a thing, yeah. It, it's, it's okay, because it's the deck, you know, not the discard file. But, you know, that's still pretty bad. It's still pretty mean. Uh, let's try again. I just saw that. Okay. Okay, he, you have dealt 20 damage, and I have taken out four of your Pokemon. Great, great boss battle, by the way. Oh, it's gonna use Nasty Goo! Nasty Goo! Rewind. Just to let you know, I'm using a rewind just to... Just to speed up the fact that I don't want to restart, reset my game. I mean, seriously, this is a technique I'd just do anyway. Okay, so I've got the Tangler. I don't know, I feel like using the Tangler instead of the Scyther. I've got the Tangler ready. Yeah, of course he's gonna get me now. Seriously, that Nidoran female was a trooper. Seriously. Like a tank. Yeah, how many how many references can I go for a day? That's the new two. Nope. 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 Oh, I got an energy removal and I still don't feel comfortable with your coughing. Okay, hold on, sort out this hand. Anyway, so yeah, that other Mewtwo that he just played is a promotional Mewtwo. It's it's the exact same as the one that I got, but it's just got a different picture. Fun fact, I even know this. Uh, you got this card if you bought a VHS copy of the first Pokemon movie. Fun fact, I own one. It has, it also comes with a weird version of Mew. I, I have yet to decipher it. Like, it actually does have weird letters on it, and it's not Japanese. It's just it's completely... It, it's shiny. Shiny ass. But, um... Yeah. But it's, it, you know, exactly the same. The Mew, I don't know exactly if it's based on any card. Uh, I'm putting a picture up right now on the side. So, so we got... Oh, there's the Ivysaur. I'll stuff the Butterfree, I feel like. 
Oh, there you go, energy absorption, and then he's gonna use Psy Wave for the next turn. And Tangler is weak to Psychic, isn't he? Oh, he's weak to Fire. Oh, that works fine. Well, we got that poison powder out there. We wanna get this done, don't we? Yeah. So yeah, you may think that I actually played the Pokemon Train card game a fair bit as a child. As a young lad. Um, you'd actually be kind of incorrect there. My school was a Yu-Gi-Oh school. So to speak. Everybody played Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, he can't get out of this. Everyone played Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I, I had to play Yu-Gi-Oh in order to keep in, you know. Um, Oh, man, let's go back. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Oh. I don't feel like trusting him again, so... I'm sorry. If I didn't show off. We won! See, anyway, yeah, I, I did collect a few Pokemon cards. I did own several cards, but... I never really played it too much because nobody really played it. Yu-Gi-Oh! ended up being probably the more successful game with Venomoth. Um, no retreat cost, which is nice. Shift once during your turn, you may change the type of Venomoth to any type. Which is very handy. Which basically means you can exploit weaknesses all the time with your 10 damage move. 10 damage? Yeah. But flip coin, if heads, then either they're confused and poison, which is actually very mean. And also, you'll do 20 damage. And then do a, Yeah, you'll do 20 damage because you can watch. You can do this. Uh, slow bro! Venonat! So there we are. Laboratory! Oh, this one's a weird one. Last, you and your opponent show each other your hands and you shuffle all your trainer cards from your hands into your decks. Weird card, okay. Uh, wheezing. Wheezing, waiter. Anyway, this gold man is very good. Because he can recover 20 HP and still no retreat cost, which is very cool. Okay, so that's about it. So, anyway, we'll just go back to his research. And nothing ter terribly exciting happens. We just kind of walk around. So anyway, in the next part we'll head off to whatever yonders beyond. See you kids!